Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Big Pharma Marketing and Bell Practice Episode 2. So when we last left our mixing, uh, mix-upable uh, uh, company, we had spent a prodigious amount of time farting around, uh, getting our, our tech up and our uh, research up. But we finally have all the tools we need to produce our first cure, and boy howdy is it a cure. Uh, well, our first real cure. We had, a, we had a tiny little one earlier, but that doesn't matter. This is the one we care about. Two level two cures on the same one. Inside job, current profit 331. And let's, let's improve that, shall we? First off, let's check out this one thing. Antihistamines, don't care, don't care. Uh, one thing I do care about before we get into that is, um, um, let's, uh, since we've gotten our, our first drug going here, let's hire that one explorer and send them, well, exploring. Uh, let's go see what the spotted nipple wart, <laughs> the spotted nipple wart has, uh, holds the sexual health cures. I find that rather amusing. <clears throat> anyway, and also since we're on our upgrades thing, we have a couple of research points here. Let's uh, let's put one of these points into um, sales reps. I'll show you why in just a second. The other one, let's put them into the multi-mixer because this thing ain't cheap to operate. Um, it's awesome and the cycle time's reduced, but uh, the perk does not make it any cheaper to use a multi-mixer. Yes, you might be saying, well, Pinstar, you're only using one instead of two. Isn't that half the price? No because it has a cycle time of one. You pay the multi-mixer cost every time it cycles. Since it cycles twice as often, you pay twice as much, which since you're getting twice the benefit out of it means you're paying normal price, uh, but it, you're, it, it, the cost is the same as if you didn't have the perk. The only thing the perk does for you is that you don't need the infrastructure and the two multi-mixers to get a full line going. So that's all it does. But that being said, that's a pretty darn good benefit. Uh, now, the question becomes, uh, what else do we want to research? Or do we want to just sit on our laurels for a little bit and let our scientists cook away? Um, well, part of me wants to go for the drug packer. I really like the drug packer. Uh, I, I originally, it took me a while to warm up to this thing when it was first introduced. This isn't new to the expansion. This has always been in the base game. It came a little bit later in the base game, but it, it's, it's, it's always been there. Um, so you know what? Let's go for the drug packer because I like the drug packer. We'll leave the third guy to sit and generate uh, 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 research points for us. All right, so let's take a look at, let's, let's let time pass here and see what there is to see here. Oh, right, yes, we're going to increase our sales rating and also our price. Because I'm a fan, like, one of the strategies is that you can go for a deep discount and hedge out your competition that way. That's not me. I like gouging the customers. I like making premium cost stuff. Uh, but we have to have the sales reps to convince everybody that it is indeed premium cost stuff. So let's take a look at it. So after having researched our very first um, um, uh, sort of our core company upgrade, uh, actually, let me show you what I'm talking about. Executives are not like, you know, scientists or explorers. Scientists and explorers, you can hire unlimited numbers of them as long as you've got the money to hire them and to pay them. That's all well and good. Executives are not like that. You don't get to hire executives in the traditional sense. They are given to you for free, but they are limited. Um, you start, um, when you start the game with zero, um, by doing national head headquarters, you get three. You get another three by doing globalization and you get a further three by doing lobbying. And that's it. So there's only so many things you can have, um, a you know, going active with an active sales rep. Now, there is one perk, uh, the executive perk, that gives you a, an additional three executives for free. Uh, so they get a little bit more wiggle room there. But they are a limited resource and no amount of money can let you buy more of them. So using them wisely is a good idea. What do you got? Hyperthyroidism. Yeah, you're, you're, going, to, you're going to bat against me, so we got to get these sales reps working to uh, keep our uh, product flowing. 
So now the nice thing is with sales reps here, you can assign them to different jobs, but you can also pull them back. So you can shift them around between your different drugs willy nilly uh, and also different programs within your drugs. Uh, so that's not a problem. Um, so they're, they're very flexible, but they're still limited. That being said, we have three executives. We only have two things that can be used with them. So no reason not to. Now, one of the nice things about this is, is this the bonus is 5% five, 5 sales for all cures in this family. Since there are two different cures, we get this bonus twice. Um, so it get, uh, we get a 10% bonus for the portfolio and just a flat 10% from sales reps, which is awesome. Uh, so now our sales rating is a B. Uh, and that's before our cure rating starts to drift, uh, depending on how, how good the actual, how good it actually is at curing people. Now, um, that being said, let's take a look at the cures themselves, or rather the demand for them. So we can get away with, well, two, two, full, two full lines a day. Um, uh, we'll do this. If we do more than that, we're going to run into some demand shortages because there'll be too much hyperthyroidism stuff out there. Um, so we'll make a second line of this. No reason not to. Um, and I am confident in our ability to carve out um, the uh, sales for, for all of this. I mean, I know this guy is hedging in on here, um, uh, but I think we can make sure that we our stuff is sold. So let's throw down another whole line of this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll buy that plot. And let's see if we can't squeeze in uh, another copy of all of this. So we're going to do the same same deal here. Same same two ingredients to be imported. And the same treatment for them. Um, hell, it might be even a same, well, not the same exact layout. Actually, yeah, let's do that. And actually, let's see if mixing in that agglomerator Yeah, because mixing them up like that, not a bad idea. And then we hit it with an ionizer to can transform it. Oh, that's better. Okay, there, loop you around here, loop you around here, there. All right, so that length is done. This one just needs a... Uh, a dissolver. Actually, we have a spare dissolver, so we can put put that into uh, press that into service. Plus an ionizer. And that puts that where it needs to be, and then we multi-mix. And I will always be saying it like that, the multi-mixer. Like multi-pass. And after we mix, all we got to do is agglomerate the whole solution once and we're done. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's put this off to the side here. And then we'll, uh, we'll hit the uh, pill printers going on this side. Beautiful. All the connections are set. Let's set in motion. I do need to babysit the uh, the uh, multi mixer to make sure it gets its proper uh, its proper solution in here. Because I I wish I knew which port did which, uh, and maybe there is a pattern to it. But I always just like to stare at it before. Because the last thing you wanted to do is to multi mix the wrong base. Because then we'll get sugar pills. We don't want sugar pills. Because that's a lot of wasted ingredients and what have you. All right, angina, the three, we don't want the three, so that's perfect. So it will be on its way to Happy Town momentarily. And then we'll have a double throughput, uh, 2.0 per day of this stuff. All right, let's start upgrading some of our machines here. Uh, what is used, uh, the ionizer is used pretty heavily, so let's upgrade that beast. That will save us some money. We have already brought ourselves, despite our loan dragging us down, we've already brought ourselves back into profitability, which is awesome. 
But now it is time, well, it is time to uh, wait for our uh, explorer to do their thing or finish doing their thing. So yeah, let's let them finish cooking here. Our research should be done with alternative delivery soon. We don't need to, well, this gives us the option to go for a creamer sooner rather than later. Oh, look at that daily profit. Now that, now, now that we have our second line flowing in here, that's just double barreled profit right there. Now let's take a look at our, at our numbers here. So we are, well, it's not up to full speed just yet, but it will be soon. Cause yeah, look at this sales bonus here. All right, alternative delivery. Let's get you guys working on the drug packer for now. If I need to, I can pivot and switch them over to, uh, uh, to the creamer if we happen to have that. But the nice thing about the nice thing about multi mixing is you have a pretty powerful weapon against side effects. So you're you're better able to dodge them in most of the cases, not every time, but most of the cases you can dodge the side effects or just obliterate them entirely uh, by by way of the multi mixer. All right, we got removes warts and inflames skin. Oh yeah, that's the other nice thing about this other perk, the local source uh, uh, one. Because everything starts at a 50% discount, you don't need to worry about specifically farming up, up uh, ingredient upgrade points. I mean, they help. You can go above the 50% discount, which is crazy. Um, but you you can generally just get away with, you know, always looking for ingredients uh, when possible. So we're going to go ahead and go after this one. Now, this one has a booster effect. We'll see. We don't know what kind of booster it is. It might be quite useful, um, but we'll see what it is. With that being said, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at this. Um, so we have remove warts eleven to sixteen. Uh, so remove warts plays nice with hypertension. That's not bad at all. And actually, we can get a lot of lines out of just these two here: the warts plus the hypertension. Now you might be saying, "Well, Pinstar, these are level one cures. Why are you multi mixing a multi level one cure? Really?" Well, yeah, really. Ooh, and female contraceptive plays nice with uh, with diabetes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Oh wow, we give we have all sorts of combinations we can we can have going here, and that's without even touching level three stuff. Um, I mean the level three stuff, the autoclave to stroke risk. Um, oh, that's. Uh, yeah, we could we could we could make that work too, but let's 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 realize the uh, let's realize the potential of all this. And because we have so much potential for these low level cures, then absolutely we want to go with a drug packer. Heck, freaking yes! Let's let's have time to uh, lurch along here uh, as I yap. Uh, all right, what else is heavily used? The pill printer that will that will help us out. Let's get another scientist since our thing's doing so well. Let's, um, yeah, we don't need to go desert expeditions yet, but uh, let's, uh, let's get uh, planning permission so we can get cheaper expansions. Actually, hang on, let's let you guys finish that upgrade point first and then I'll, uh, I'll wait for you to, uh, I'll wait for you, I'll let you guys uh, start researching. You can right click on thing to pull people back, by the way, that's how I did that. Okay, research upgrade point, uh, evaporators, a little, a little bit, agglomerators. Yeah, agglomerators. That works out. I am going to want to farm up a bunch of upgrade points for the drug packer before I start pressing into service. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do before I start uh, doing this is let's start cranking up the price here. Because what do we got here? Um, now this might tick up, but our sales rating of a B, I think we're doing pretty well. Now what I usually do is I'll tick it up by 5% and see what the market does. See, we're, we're, uh, we're going to be bumping up against some competitors here. Interesting. I guess it's calculating my total share per day here for everything. Yeah, because I'm curing two different things here. So it shows me what I'm competing against on both fronts, which is pretty awesome, actually. I think they, he just updated it for that. Uh, but we are still fill, we're still selling at full speed, so up another five percent. 
And this is just raw profit at this point. Aha, see, we're starting to lose, we're starting to lose some daily sales and starting to build up some stock. So let's just keep it at 5% for now. If our sales rating goes up and meaning if our cure rating goes up, then yes, we can uh, put more stock into all that and, and crank the price up again, especially if our competitors leave the market, uh, which given our uh, current effectiveness of the cure, they might. What do we got here? Antihistamines, don't care. All right, let's, let's plan out our next mixture, shall we? All right, so um, warts and uh, hypertension. And we can obliterate the inflames skin with, uh, with that because um, the hypertension's already in that slot, which is awesome. Uh, now this prompt sleepiness is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Um, we might need to go for the creamer on that because processing it all the way up to a 14 and then back down, well, actually close to a 13. Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's do some research. Let's do a little research before I dive into this. Uh, Cause maybe that extra processing might not be a bad thing. Let's just flat out taste the ingredients here. So we're just gonna import this stuff right here. Because if the sweet spots are closer to the other end, it might actually behoove us to overprocess it a little bit so we can obliterate uh, uh, causes of sleepiness. So let's use that. Also, there's no reason, uh, unless you're, until you get into centrifuges, there's no reason to have more than one analyzer in a game because you can just move it around and analyze stuff. You don't need it leaching on your drugs forever. Once you've analyzed those properties, you can pull it off. All right, we got the Packer. Go Packers! All right, uh, I'm gonna let these guys sit here. Actually, no, I'm gonna let them sit there because I want I want to build up upgrade points for that Packer. So that Packer is really important to get upgraded. Um, I mean, yeah, it lowers the processing cost, but more importantly, it lets the Packer handle more things at a time, which allows you to use it more effectively. All right, let's, uh, we got our first thing here, inflamed skin, all right. Well, we don't care about that because it's gonna get obliterated. Also, by analyzing the uh, ingredients here, I'm making progress towards unlocking the overanalyzer perk for future games. Remove warts, dang it, it's close to the other end. Well, let's take a, let's take a taste of the, uh, of the other one here, of the, uh, of the hypertension. Also, it'll let me know what the sleepiness is so I know where the hot spot is. Preg Buster, okay, got that, that's fine. Diabetes remover, don't care, and at the moment. All right, this is still sitting at a C. We got a new, ooh, whoa, 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 and cheaper purchase, plot purchases, excellent. We'll throw an upgrade into that, make it a little more effective. We'll throw an upgrade into that. Easy to, oh, easy to swallow. Oh, this one can be useful because it's pills and well, we use a lot of pills. Ah. Now, unfortunately it does come with a whole butt a bunch of uh, problems, but we might be able to, to, to make use of it. Uh, in due time, we, we could really we could really benefit from the booster mixer um, before using that. So for the moment, we're not gonna go too crazy with it. All right, um, are you done being, oh yeah, I need the hypertension. It's an event. Asthma. Don't care. Hi. Okay, so overprocessing it would not be to our benefit. Oh, thank you for telling us, Analyzer. So, oh, and that's the hot spot. Hmm. What's. Let me take a look at the other one. So there's the warts, the, hot, the sweet spot's on a 12. 
Um, at an 11, and the hot spot for sleepiness is at an 8. So if we put you on the sweet spot of, uh, of warts, yeah, one, two, three. So if we just agglomerate it once, we'll be okay. We do want a creamer though. Uh, so let's get that researched. Cause that is too close to, uh, too close for comfort. And we'll let, yeah, two guys on the creamer and we'll let the other two cook up some, uh, some upgrade points so we can really press our thing into, into service. See, that's the thing with this, with the, the multi-mixer strategy is you, you do things in leaps. Um, you know, you, you, you set up your, two, your cure, you maximize it, of course, uh, but then it takes a while to ferret out your next, uh, your next big thing, but your things tend to be big. Oh. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell it. All right, yeah, and this will get us some nice upgrade points. Level two drug packer. Three drug packer would be really nice. Yeah, let's go for level three drug packer. That gives us packer capacity of five, which is awesome. I'll show you exactly why I'm so happy about drug packers. Uh, what's the, uh, what is the, there's the creamer. All right, good. Not the creamer, but what is the, uh, what, what can the market absorb uh, for, for this thing that I'm working on? So the warts plus the hypertension, um, six and a five. So we can absorb a five. So yeah, we, we want, we want a five, we want a five thing because that's the most we want to, that'll tap the markets here nicely. So yeah, we want to get our drug packer up to a level three, which will give us, allow it to handle five. Um, but in the meantime, before we start drug packing, um, let's find a good spot for this. Actually, that would be really good right here. Yeah, let's get you and you. This, the, this snake, the snake is going to be perfect for, for this. I think we can make this work because this is a fairly simple drug, but we just need a lot of it. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So we are, well, let's start over here. All right, so hypertension plus warts is what I'm doing. So we'll start with the hypertension. And we'll open up with the warts. Now, looking at their concentrations, uh, one's a nine, one's a seven. We ultimately want to get to a 12, so the nine needs to be the base. Oh, no, but if we make nine the base, then it will, the inflamed skin will obliterate hypertension. So this one needs to be the base. So what would behoove us to do is to uh, up it to the, to the desired concentration and then mix it with this, the, with this one. Uh, that, that works out nicely. I mean, I guess we could mix them together and then upgrade it, but uh, yeah, no, there's no getting around it. We need to, we need to do, we can't, we can't use the mixer to give, do us any favors here. So seven, eight, nine, 10, and then 11, 12. So actually, if we do this evaporator, agglomerator, evaporator, like that, there, nice, concise little, little whoop. And then we multi-mix. And then uh, that actually should get us to where we, where we want to go uh, in terms of getting that cure up and running. Now, actually, let's, well, hang on. Let's, let's let this thing finish cooking here. Uh, we want, yes, we want the other one to be the base. So we obliterate the inflamed skin. All 
Okay, so this is now the drug we're working with right now. The warts will turn on as soon as it finishes processing here. Uh, part of me wants to process it more to get rid of that, but it's just, it's gonna be too bulky. Let's see if we can't do something else with this. Maybe we can get creative in our in our bid to, to destroy Prompt's sleepiness. This is we're just getting into puzzle game territory here. Um No, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. If, you know what, you know what, if we shook this and then booster mix it, 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 it. No, that's too much for a, for a couple of level one cures. That's, that's, that's just silly. That's just silly. And yeah, we already know that. So, all right. So, you know what, there's no real way to get around this effectively. Let's put that upgrade point there. This, thing's, this stuff's getting expensive, even with our discount. Hmm. Yeah, because if it, if we go up by two, or if we go up by three and then, so up and then down, that's still gonna butcher the profitability of it. And this is far enough, and then if we use the creamer, we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. We can do the creamer. So, we get you going in here, and then the other thing is now the drug packer. And here's what you do with the, with a the drug packer. At the end, after you've, after you've made your drug into its final form, you put a drug packer at the end of it. And then you feed the, the drug packer into whatever your eventual uh, um, output thing is. The thing with the drug packer is that it helps can it, it 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 slows down the cycle time so more stuff can get crammed into each unit. I mean these output things can only absorb one one unit one one thing per day, but if that thing is a box containing five drugs, you're you're using you're exporting a whole heck of a lot more out of a single socket. So watch this. I'll show you guys this in action before we uh, end the episode here. So Let's uh, let's let's set up the our setup here because um, we'll have two two things going. So evaporator, agglomerator, and then another evaporator. I like this little this little loop de loop. It's very very dense, um, and that that little thing goes for the purple stuff. And then this one gets to be the yellow stuff, and all. And yeah, they just get they just get plugged right into the multi mixer. Like that, and you get looped around here, and you get looped around here. That gives me maximum working space. Hmm. Well, now I've kind of outfoxed myself. Well, we'll see if we can't use... Yeah, I guess we'll use, we'll just do two, uh, two boxers here. Because now I can't really get to it for other lines. Hmm. But I can't not do that. All right, well, maybe it's not as conducive to it, but I'm still gonna use the packer. Well, first I need to use my creamer and then the packer. Because we will still get some benefit out of the out of the deal here. Now I've merged these two things because these two packers are going to be putting down the boxes less frequently, so both of them will be able to get their stuff down to the uh, export. So let's turn this on. I'll show you uh, the packer in action here. 
make sure you're working properly. You are good. Yeah, I don't think we'll have too much with drug quality problems. Blood like pressure, eh. So this thing eats two drugs. Actually, it's gonna eat three drugs and then turn it into a box. Well, no, it's gonna eat four drugs. Turn it into a box that uh, now is times four. So yeah, 453 profit, that's not the reflective. It's actually 111 for individual, which is still pretty freaking good for a level one drug here. Oh wait, crap, 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 wait, stop. You're backwards. All right, uh, le uh, left control alt, delete. Wart no more hypertension. Hmm, warts and hypertension. Oh, we'll call it. Hmm. <laughs> warts and hypertension that causes sleepiness. Don't sweat it. Oops. There we go. Now I think we have the right stuff. Okay, folks, well, that's got our uh, little double production line here going. I think what I might do off screen uh, between this episode and the next is set up the rest of our lines here because, well, you've already seen how this works. Um, so that way I can do that and we can move on to the next interesting thing here. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.